Welcome to Dubai Real Estate Hard Facts. So let's talk about the elephant in the room today. World recession versus Dubai real estate. So this is a question that a lot of investors constantly ask me. So I'm going to give you some facts. So this, this channel is all about uh, facts. How can we compare with some genuine information? I always compare Dubai real estate like, like a stock market or a luxury car. Why in recent trends, the luxury market has really picked up? If you observe, if you Google anything about Dubai real estate, you'll always find that the luxury market is really picked up. Why? Because these properties are really undervalued. If you compare it with the international market, why are there this huge flux of investors coming in from Italy, France, Germany, European Union, from the UK, from Canada, all of a sudden there's a huge flux of investors. Yes, there is definitely now, just as of yesterday, yes, there was a situation where the British Prime Minister resigned and now there's some controversy revolving around it. But immediately, yes, there's questions as to will Boris Johnson take um, a sign as the Prime Minister again. But all these confusion, what happens? Yes, the sterling is dropping in value. And hence, I've had so many calls from the UK, from various investors, where they are deciding to relocate to shift to a safer more stable economy let's suppose the most premium property in dubai is around a thousand dollars per square foot uh, which translates to around 900 quid right? 900 pounds so in nine for 900 pounds you will not find a premium property in central london now yes you cannot compare leicester and central london so if comparing Leicester, you're probably comparing an Ajman, but in central London, 900 pounds, you're not going to find premium property. So that is the situation right now. Hence, investors are finding it really attractive. What does Dubai have to offer? Dubai offers a stable economy. There's no political instability. Yes, uh, I will explain a bit of history of Dubai. So yes, in two th why there has been fluctuation? The fluctuation has been because of speculation, right? In, in 2004, initially when the big boom happened yes a person who could afford around um, let's say two properties bought 20 properties so he bought 20 properties he paid 10% down payment he bought 20 properties he flipped he made a lot of money he was happy and it went da 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 da, da all the way across till 2008 where a person who could afford one property bought a hundred properties and yes it was unstable. But yes, we have learned throughout the years. All the, Now the investors are cautious. Every investor is cautious right now. Yes, the ones who have burned their fingers did burn their fingers. And now every investor is cautious. So if somebody can afford two apartments, they buy one and keep cash. Yes, if you analyze different areas, yes, there are different areas in the market. So we have areas like JVC, Arjan, where you cannot gain a lot of appreciation. Maybe the appreciation would be one to two percent per annum but you get a good rental return which is around seven to nine percent per annum and then you have areas like downtown dubai marina where appreciation is around seven to eight percent per annum but your rental returns are around four to five percent so based on your objective of investment there's always something dubai has to offer hence it's always been extremely attractive for investors yes they they also the most common request i get from all these countries right now i'm not even discussing about russia okay let's say russia is a unique situation but the situation that's happening in europe right now in the uk yes that's going to extend for the next 10 years so where do you want to go where does the world want to go yes dubai is one of the safest options in the world it's considered the top 10 cities in the world and yes if i if i do a world recession versus dubai but it's definitely a stable option to consider for investment uh, based on your objective i was saying the most common request that i get is yes i want a personal residence for myself a nice fancy one and for investment or airbnb i i'll, I'll see where if there's an if there is a point i can trade or if there's a point i can do an airbnb a holiday home business run a version of a hotel for myself and I'm comfortable and this is the most common requirement I'm getting all across Europe all across UK in certain cases Canada another few factors that uh, that has really helped Dubai in stability is innovation Dubai is always five steps ahead in innovation whether it's crypto it's AI it's metaverse we are on the top right there and it is being noticed now it's being noticed by investors across the world so to summarize, world recession versus Dubai, we'll just say three words. Welcome to Dubai.
oops, I almost forgot. So the reason why I have this map right here is because um, our formats by which or projections on where we could invest, where we could anticipate capital appreciation. But all that would be in my next video. Thank you for watching.